Hello and welcome. This video shows you how to make sure that you can send and receive faxes with your 8x8 business VoIP service. You may not have fax immediately, you might have to call your system administrator and upgrade to Virtual Office Pro. I've already done so, so I'm going to show you guys the next step in that process, which is to log into your Virtual Office Online. Virtual Office Online, in case you guys don't know, it's the web-based portal. It exists entirely in the cloud and it's pretty much where you control everything having to do with your system and check your voicemail and whatnot. There's plenty of other things going on here. Alright, so I'm logged into the portal. The next thing I'm going to want to do is go into settings. Go to my services. And you'll see that I have the option to pick a fax number. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter this information. We are in great state of New York. Alright, so once I do that you'll see some options appear as to which number I can pick. Alright, and that's been successful. The fax number is now assigned. And internet fax is going to have to be enabled with that new number. Okay, so once you set up that internet fax number, uh, pick one to your liking, whatever is easiest to remember you can go ahead and enter the email which you want to receive any of the faxes that are incoming and then you can go ahead and click save alright so my settings have been saved awesome and now when I'm back in the dashboard here you'll see that fax is no longer grayed out I can go ahead and enter some finer options here. Okay, so here we are in the fax menu if you were sending something very simple where you would just need a number and an attachment you can go ahead and grab the attachment right here, enter the number there, and then just click send fax. But uh, we're going to go a step further, of course, and as usual, you're probably going to need a cover sheet with your fax if it's business related. So you would go ahead and click edit. Anything with a yellow square here is editable in this menu, able to be edited, I should say. Uh, we're just going to leave the header as fax. Here's the global footer. This is where you have a legal disclaimer. That would be especially important if you were a law firm. Uh, your confidentiality notices, things of that nature. And here's where you would edit or add a company logo. Now here you can upload an image that you have saved locally. Or you can enter a URL. Now let's say, for instance, I wanted to grab an, a URL off the internet. Let's say, for instance, I would go to our site. Back to virtual office. This is the beauty of VoIP being connected to the web. You can fetch the image right off there. And that looks good to me. I'm going to click OK. OK, so that's all set. My company logo is right on the cover sheet, and I can go ahead and click Save. It'll prompt you whether you want to save this as a global fax template or use it just for this fax only. I think we'll be using this from now on, so I'm going to say yes. And this will be my global fax. I won't need to edit this ever again. Of course, if I want to, I can. Alright, so I'm all done with the cover sheet. Now for the next step. This is something that I find especially useful. HP offers a service called HP Fax Me. It's totally free. What you do is basically enter this number, which is 1888 HP Fax Me, which is 473-2963. Now what this does, it's an automated service. You send them a fax and they send you back a confirmation. Basically, this covers all bases, and you can confirm that you can both send and receive faxes from your fax number. Okay, so for name, we're just going to enter HB test fax. Test. I'm going to leave the notes blank. Enter this information. And for the attachments, I actually just have a blank Word document, so it's make sure that's a total of two pages. You don't want to confirm. To, don't want to uh, confuse the system too much. And before you hit send, you can just make sure that everything is all set here. Hit preview. Okay, that looks good. And now we can go ahead and send the fax. And you'll see the 8x8's fax service starts to go to work. So in the upper right here, you'll get a little status update as to what's going on with your fax. Something you can always do is go to my inbox in case you close out this window. Go to sent items. 
And here in real time you will get the status of your fax that you've sent out. We can consolidate this just to faxes. So we can see that there's that one that's pending right now and it's matching what's going on over here. It's prepping the fax. And you'll also see, important, faxes are stored online for 60 days. To save this fax, save it to your computer. All right, next it's connected. Everything seems to be going smoothly so far. Okay, and it's sending page one of two. Sending page two of two. And finally, both pages are sent. And just like that, my fax has successfully been delivered. And the next step is to wait for your return email slash fax. All right, and here's the final part of the puzzle. You'll see that you received an internet fax number from 8x8 customer support. You can go ahead and view the PDF. All right, and this is the final piece of the puzzle. You'll see that you got this fax back from HP. This is to confirm that my fax was received and also that I am able to receive faxes with 8x8's fax service. So that'll just about cover it. Hopefully this helped you guys out and gave you a little look at the back end here on how simple it is to send and receive faxes with 8x8.